Welcome to the Cutting Edge Health Podcast with Jane Rogers, where we discuss science to help prevent cognitive decline. I have made a very personal decision and I'd like to share it with you. My gut's flora is messed up. I have too much bad bacteria and not enough good. And my gut's been that way for years due to too much antibiotic use. And so I've decided to get a fecal microbiota transplant, FMT for short. I'm going to fly to the UK to get this done because in the US, fecal transplants are only approved for C. diff, which is a gnarly bacteria that causes diarrhea and inflammation of the colon. In today's episode, I share the conversation I had with the director of the Taymount Clinic in Hertfordshire, England, Dr. Enid Taylor. That's the clinic where I'll be getting the poop of 10 different healthy donors over a two-week period to help reconstruct my intestines. We always have had a lot of American visitors coming to the clinic since we started in 2010-11. Um, I think the FDA made it very popular because they banned it in America. So we're going to give you 10 different donors from um, 10 different days. So somewhere Mm -hmm. in that 10 is going to be everything we hope that you need. And some you will keep and retain and some you will just let fall by the wayside because your lifestyle won't match Mm -hmm. all of those 10 people. As we go through the experience that we're gaining we are getting more and more refined and more and more sophisticated with the testing. So Mm -hmm. it is as safe as our current knowledge will allow us to make it. It is Mm -hmm. around about the £4,000 mark. I I think in in terms of dollars, that's going to be about four and a half, five thousand dollars $5,000. That's what I'm budgeting. Mm -hmm. And of course, you have to travel to get here. You have to stay in a hotel. (laughs) I've read a lot of research about FMT. And one of the things that I was really excited about, if Alzheimer's is an age-related disease, okay, if we can slow the process of Mm -hmm. aging, then you can help prevent some of these age-related diseases. So with a fecal microbiota transplant, the research is now showing that if you get poop from a young person, you then will exhibit in your eyes and in other places in your body a younger you. If you get poop from an older person, it's going to age you. And so I remember writing to your receptionist and saying, "Um, how old are those donors? (laughs) And it looks like for me, all the donors are going to be younger. So this will help my biological age. It'll help keep me younger and prevent age-related disease, I totally right? believe so. We have a cutoff of 55 for donors. In fact, I think um, we were actually okay. talking about cutting off at 50. It's a very rewarding space to be in. When, when it works really well like that, it's so I, gratifying. I and people say to us, you know, not only have you made my husband well, but you've, you've returned me to being his wife from being his carer. Ooh, that's a subtle but very powerful shift, isn't it? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. You change very. your eyes. By just giving people back to themselves, it's just lovely. 